Hello again. This week we're going to be looking at the question on if anger is wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here, man. I'm trying to record this. Hey, don't worry guys, I'm just kidding, I wasn't angry there. But I think you get the point. Why are we as humans so easily angered? In the Marvel films, we are introduced to a character named the Hulk. And most of the time, we see that when he becomes angry, he destroys everything in his sight. With that picture in mind, it may seem as though anger is always bad or it's always sinful. But is that true? And did God create us with the capacity to get angry for a reason? Well, in order to answer that question, we first need to realize that we have been created by God and He has made us in His image. So in order for us to know why we do what we do, we need to first know who our Creator is. In Psalm 711, we read that God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. You see, anger is an emotion that God experiences every day. Therefore, we know that anger is not a sin because God does not sin. However, from this verse, we can see why God is angry. The verse states that God is an honest judge. This points to God being good. And since God is good, and since He is perfect, He experiences anger when evil is done. And now that we understand that, we can understand why we experience anger. As we looked at earlier, God created us in His image. And since we have been created in His image, when we see evil done, or when we feel as though evil has been done to us, we experience anger. So you may be wondering, what's the purpose of anger? The purpose of anger is to motivate us towards demolishing evil and seeing that good is done. But we have to be careful and be angry in the same way that God is angry. Because Ephesians 4.26 says, don't sin by letting your anger control you. So you see that if we, like the fictional character of the Hulk, allow our anger to control us and we use our anger to destroy and bring harm to others, we are in sin. So in closing, we see that God has given us the emotion of anger for a reason. But we have to be careful to wield our anger in such a way that we don't allow it to control us and drive us recklessly into sin. God has given us the capacity to feel anger so that when we see evil or injustice done, it can be a driving force in our life to overcome evil with good and see that justice takes place. So moving forward, I want to challenge you. Don't let anger control you and lead you into sin and bring about even more destruction. The next time you experience anger, stop and pray to God. Ask Him to reveal to you why you are angry and then allow Him to guide you to use your anger in such a way that evil is overcome by good. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and come back next week so you can hear more about who God is and who He created you to be. If you want to learn more about this topic and many others, or about our cost-free stint internship, visit topbecker.org slash stint.